Hello my friend myself Satish Vanapalli thank you very much for watching this video here is my website pegaks.com where you can find interesting uh, topics with the uh, step by step explanations you can use this such feature to find articles and also you can view a random post by clicking on this random post icon there is also a live chat available on my blog where you can directly chat with me uh, most of the times uh, i'll try to be online so that you can directly ask your questions uh, via this live chat and most importantly sign up to my blog uh, so that whenever i publish a new article you will get notified via email you can follow me on facebook page facebook.com/pegaks and also do subscribe my youtube channel so that you whenever a new video get published you will get a notification let's get start with the today's topic in this today's topic we are going to learn about how to trace and debug pegabix in 8.5 with additional login level settings in my last 3 videos we discussed about how to install and configure bix and also how to implement extract rules how to automate your extract execution using a job scheduler let's get into the today's talk first we will see how to trace your extract execution if you have already a job scheduler configured for your extract execution then you can trace your job scheduler directly using the admin studio once you navigate your designer studio you can switch to admin studio under admin studio you have a category called jobs once you launch the jobs window where you can find your job scheduler click on this three dots to trace your job scheduler the trace option will be enabled only if your job scheduler is in enabled state another option open this job scheduler activity and you can trace that activity directly you can open this activity from the activity actions drop down you can click on run and you can click on this trace icon to trace your activity execution by selecting this db query checkbox you can trace your sql rules let's click on okay run your activity and you can trace your extract execution see activity was completed successfully now go back to your tracer and you can see this is the sql event if you click on this sql event where you can see the sql query your extract rule always fetches from the blob data so that's why you can see the sql query is reading from the pcpv stream now proceed to the next step verify the extract execution history in case if your extract is not completed and you can see the completed percentage here and also the status message let's navigate to the extract rule and verify the execution history now navigate to the execution history tab and you can see the last completed was 0% and the status message not all rows extracted please refer the log files for errors now let's find out what the problem with this extract rule and why it is not able to extract the data verify the log files for the bix errors navigate to configure system operations and logs to access your log files in the bix log file you can find the exact exception what it occurred while executing your extract rule let's open the log file and investigate the error in the dev studio header bar click on this configure and navigate to the system navigate to the operations tab and click on logs to access your log files click on log files to launch your log files window in the log files window where you can see the name bix click on this link to see the log file you can remove your filter to see the complete log file click on apply so in this log file it clearly indicates that it's a sql exception column answer text of relation general cases does not exist answer text is a column that we included in extract rule and it's unable to find this answer text column in this general request cases table and also in bix log you can find a pal statistics for your bix extract run like how much time it uh, spent to decrypt your blob data and how much time it took uh, to complete your extract execution and also you can see the list of pcins keys are skipped or failed in this batch execution this way you can find your exceptions so that you can fix it accordingly to resolve this error and we have another important option where we can temporarily override your logger settings so these are the three important loggers that are related to your extract implementations let's see how we can change this logger settings temporarily navigate to your designer click on this logging level settings copy this logger name 
paste it under the logger name text box once you paste the logger name it will uh, pop up uh, that logger name you can select that logger name where in the current logging level by default it is setting to info where you can change it to debug click on this debug now this extract implementation logger is temporarily changed from info to debug in the same way you can change other two loggers Now you can execute your extract one more time to see additional loggers in the log file. Click on log files. Now click on Bix. And this time you can see the more in-depth loggers. Like you can find your SQL, SQL query rules in this Bix log file. And also each and uh, every step how your extract is executed. So this way you can find out more advanced uh, loggers that can helpful to investigate and resolve your issues. Thank you very much for watching this video. In case if you have any further questions, feel free to contact admin at pegakas.com. We'll see you in the next video.